there. I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Percy Stephen, congratulations on the new job. Yeah, from looking around and in the press conference, it seems you're, you're very, very proud and you know it's just been all smiles today. How ha happy are you that you've got this job now? And the four-year vision, how excited are you to get started on that now? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a real privilege for me to, to be named under-21 international manager. And um, obviously it's been, it's going to be, a, yeah, it's a great honour, really. And, and, and to, the four-year contract in that regard to become senior international manager in 2020, um, it's a position that, you know, I couldn't turn down and one that I'm really um, looking forward to doing. Yeah. Hey, how vital is it for you to learn from someone as experienced as Mick McCarthy? He's obviously been there and done it. Um, you're speaking about you're going to be working close to him. Are you, is that something you're really excited about learning from him? Yeah, I think yeah, obviously Mick has captained the country um, brilliantly at, at the tournaments and obviously managed managed the, the country previously in, in, at the World Cup and and certainly uh, he has great experience and I can only benefit from that. You know, I think I can only benefit from that. And he is the manager of the international team and uh, you know I look forward to working with him. Yeah, uh, judging from your press conference earlier, and I, I, I took in a lot from what, your knowledge of the Irish players seems to be something that's, you know, got to be admired. Um, I, for one, am really excited to see what you actually bring. But for you, as the, you know, the international youth teams are doing so well, how excited are you for the future of Irish football? Yeah, it's uh, there's been some, <coughs> some good results of late. But more importantly than the results, of some really exciting players are emerging. That's very important. So we've got to nurture and develop them, make them, you know, and, and create an environment for, at, at under-21 level that they can come in and flourish and do well. I'd like, whether we play in Tala or Turner's Cross or Sligo, I'd like full houses for the under-21 international games. That's what I'd like. And I'd like those players to come and feel an experience of playing the under-21 games. Because some of the under-21 games, the crowds have been small. The atmosphere has been flat. And I think it's important that uh, there is full houses and that people really get behind that, that of the next generation of players coming into the first team. And uh, I want those players to go. And obviously, Ireland have never qualified at this level. It's very difficult to, to qualify. Only one team qualify automatically. And they're uh, very difficult to qualify. So the draws on the 12th of December, the matches start from March. So then we'll know more then. Yeah, and just on, on Dundalk, I know you're probably getting asked a lot about them, but it seems to be... You know, you took them over and they weren't in the greatest shape, but it's, it, it seems to be that you'll go down now in folklore as a cult hero for what you've done. And you've left them in good hands now, is that fair to say? Yeah, I feel that Dundalk are in a brilliant position. You know, uh, it's a real wrench to leave Dundalk. Um, uh, you know, it was a, a really significant part of my life. And I think uh, when you think, uh, you know, the success that we had at European level, in the group stages of the Europa League and um, and 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 the league titles and, and cups that we won, it was a, a real privilege to be there and great special bond between the players and the staff. A real tight group and uh, friends for life there, really. But I think uh, um, I wouldn't leave. It's a wrench I leave there, but you just could not turn this position down. It's a real, real special honour to to be to be to be named in this position and. One that you know I intend doing with justice. Yeah, I know you touched on uh, style of play before, and you know people are talking about philosophy, but um, I've watched your team play this year in Dundalk, and you've been by a mile the best team to watch, especially from like an entertainment value. Uh, is that something you'll try to implement now into your under twenty ones team? Yeah, you know we do. Don't you? It must be it must be your intention, and the team must be set up in a way that you can dominate possession no matter who you're playing. Even if you're playing teams that are better than you, you must you must strive to strive to get hold of the ball and dominate possession. And I think um, um, you know I think we want to set the teams up in a very you know where the individual players can really express themselves. The players, the, the the great individual talent that are coming through, can really express themselves in the way that they can. And uh, and players emerge and and and, and progress from the 15s right up to the 19s, the 19s to 21s, and 21s is the fourth team. And that's that's the that's the vision, and that's what we want. Yeah, and just uh, lastly, for me, uh, people are saying, you know, all of we have a big social media following, and you know, with Twitter polls and Instagram polls, and to be fair, 
you were seem to be the peop, uh, the favorite person of everyone to I actually get the job. So oh, no. I just want to say congratulations and best luck with the job. And I'm looking forward to the next four years. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thanks. All right, cheers. Thanks.